Well, this is an interesting story. Catherine and Graham, potential true love, but let's not let our optimism cloud our investigation. No, I would just really love to see I know, we've, we've, a happy ending. It's yeah. been a lot of unhappy endings. Tell us about Graham. Okay, so it's kind of embarrassing. I hashtag country boy on Instagram. <laughs> You were just in that mood? Feeling frisky. And um, I came across a picture and I found him on Twitter and I messaged him and I was like, you are by far the best looking boy I've ever seen in my life. And then from there, we just started talking. So you really like wow. sort of creeped this, this guy. Oh yeah, I was a total stalker. What did it evolve into? It evolved into us like talking like all the time like, on the phone. And like we'd stay up to like 3 a.m. just speaking about life. I would say he's like my first love. Whoa, really? Yeah, hundred percent. Hey, hey, it's us. What's going on? The reason we hit you up is because we're doing a story now with a girl named Catherine, who for the past like couple years believes she's been talking to Graham. No way! Oh my God! Have you ever heard of this girl, Catherine? Never, never. I've not heard that name. Really? And are you one of Graham's like best friends? Yeah, definitely. Hey! All right, so we started with the phone number. It is from Jacksonville. He's from Jacksonville. So then we thought, okay, the only way to know for sure if Graham is exactly who he says he is and if these are his accounts would be to reach out to some of Graham's friends. One of them's name is Reynolds. We FaceTimed with Reynolds. When we were asking Reynolds about all of Graham's social media accounts, <laughs> A couple of years ago, Graham's Twitter got hacked. Perhaps you reached out to Graham and someone else may have been using it. Because when we asked Reynolds to confirm that the number you have for Graham is the number he has for Graham, he couldn't because he has a different phone number for Graham. Hi, uh, is this Graham? Yes, that is me. Oh, okay, cool. My name is Neve. Uh, I'm on that show Catfish, which I'm sure you're familiar with. Okay. I am calling on behalf of Catherine, um, your friend from Long Island. Um, uh, okay. She would really like to meet you and we want to help make that happen. Um, what's your plan? Well, this is it. Let's you do can, it. You can, you can do it. All right, you guys wait for yeah. a second. Come on over. All right. Here. Oh my god, who are you? I exist. I'm real. What happened yesterday? You told us to be at this park and we kind of had a plan. I, I got you. I got you. I know. I, 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 I screwed up, but I'm, I'm here now. Right. Catherine I was looking forward to meeting you. I was about to leave and then my family showed up and I had to hang out with them and they wouldn't let me go anywhere. They wouldn't let you go specifically to meet they us. They wouldn't let me go out. So your mom tells you what to do? Yes. And as long as I'm financially dependent on them, I guess I have to do what they say. Do you care or not care about Catherine? Yes, I care. Yes, of course I care. Here she is, this girl you've been talking to for two years. Right. Say something to her. I'm, I'm sad it took this long for us to meet, but I'm really glad that we finally have gotten the opportunity to do that. You said you loved her. Is that true? I'm not in love with her, but I do love her. He's full I'm like so mad. Like I want to cry, but like I like don't have any tears left in me after yesterday. Like I don't know like how to feel. I'm fighting the urge to like slap the taste out of his mouth. Every time he says something, like, it gets me even more mad. When you're older, when you're not in high school anymore, being a boy isn't correct. 
I don't think he ever thought we would actually meet. I can't believe he thought he could get away with this forever.